Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you a cool computer trick. Today we're in Windows 11 and we're going to get the matrix going right here in our command prompt. If you don't have Python installed, I'm going to link a video right now. Check out that card. Go over there, visit that, get Python installed, and then come back to this video when you're ready. That's a very quick tutorial, step by step, easy peasy. All right, now that you have Python installed, you're going to want to open a command prompt and type in pip install pymatrix slash rain. I already have it installed, so it's going to say requirement already met, but if you don't, that'll install it. It only takes a few seconds. Okay, you're pretty much ready to run this now. I apologize, you need one more thing pip install windows slash curses again i already have this installed it's a couple second install now you're ready to go okay so to see it run in its default state we can just type pi matrix dash rain pretty cool right looks like the matrix and this is all done with python code by the way uh, there are a lot of little tricks that you can use to modify this by the way i know my terminal um, text is green that has no impact on the matrix script it will be green by default even if yours is the default white or gray color for your command prompt or terminal text all right so let's take a look at the different things we can do with pi matrix rain we'll type dash dash help and we have a slew of options here i'll point out a few cool ones that i think are are handy uh, so the first thing we can do is pi matrix dash rain and then dash dash a list underscore colors and then we see here we have red, green, blue, yellow, magenta, cayenne, white, and black. Cool, let's try a couple different ones. So we'll use our up arrow so that we're being efficient here and then pass it the capital C and then just type in the name of the uh, color. So pi matrix dash rain space capital or space dash capital C space red. This will give us a cool red matrix. Now notice the leading character is still that uh, default color. We can also change that if we want. Control C will stop that by default, guys, to break out of the matrix. Uh, let's just try another color here and see what blue looks like. Very cool. Again, we see that leading color is still the default. So let's take a look at that. We should be able to pass the uh, dash capital L. And then we'll change that to, uh, let's do red. So we should have blue with the leading color of red. Pretty cool. All right, so let's take it a step further. I'm going to go back to the default green there. Just, I think it looks cool. And um, let's go ahead and do... Actually, you know what? Let's do a dash L leading character yellow. That way we'll have the Packers colors, green and yellow. Don't hate on my Packers. And this time we're going to throw a tricky little one that'll let us flip the matrix. So if we do a dash V, that should reverse the matrix to come from the bottom up. So let's check it out. There we go. So now we got the Packers matrix stuff and it's coming from the bottom up. All right, we can do the same thing from left to right. If we do scroll left, pretty cool stuff. And obviously same thing with scroll right. Nice. All right, now we can also do a multicolor. So if we do dash M, lowercase m, this is going to be your multicolor. They kind of stick in uh, blocks though. So each strand or block falling is the same color. So if you want a more of a random multicolor, you can use the dash capital M. Now this feature, the capital M, the multicolor random, only works on the normal scroll. If you try to use this on the scroll left, scroll right, uh, reverse scroll, it will not work. It's just the way the Python code is coded today. Okay. So another thing we can do, guys, is we can add in the katana, or I'm sorry, the uh, katakana. Might not be saying that right, but these are the characters, kind of like seen in the movie. <clears throat> We're gonna add some of those weird, almost looks like Mandarin characters in there. If I could spell it right, katakana. There you go. So now you get some extra kind of funky, weird looking characters in there. All right, what else do we want to look at? Let's take a look at the speed. So we can do uh, different speeds in here with the dash D, which is the delay. So by default, it's four. Zero is very fast and nine is very slow. Let's take a look at nine. 
we should see a considerably slower matrix rain. Yes, quite a bit slower. Uh, let's go on the other end of the spectrum and do a zero. This should be hauling butt. Whoa, there we go. It's pouring. I think you have to be Neo to be able to read this matrix rain. Maybe Morpheus. All right, let's break out of there. All right, guys, this was a quick little tutorial on how you can get the matrix rain on your Windows PC very easily. I'm gonna do another one to show you guys how you can get a active desktop wallpaper where the matrix rain will be in the background on your computer. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button guys, subscribe to the channel. I am shooting for 10,000 subs this year. I know it's a big goal, uh, but I need your support to get there and I think we can do it. All right guys, let me know what you thought about this. Are you using Pi Matrix? Is this the first time you've seen it? Do you have another trick to get matrix rain on your uh, Microsoft Windows PC? All right guys, like I said, uh, subscribe, share this video with your friends. I think it's a cool trick. Maybe they'll like it as well. And uh, don't hesitate to leave a comment. I love hearing from the community. And I always reply to all the comments, guys. So let's get some community interaction here. Let's talk about different ways to get matrix reigns, maybe other cool computer tricks that I should know about, maybe do a video about. And hey, guys, if you really want to support this channel, obviously, like I said, like, comment, subscribe. But consider heading over to bootableusbs.com. I do have a, a Shopify store where I offer a, a nice little collection. I have six different USBs. These things are all custom made, jam packed with a uh, multi-boot environment where you have different operating systems, different utilities, offensive security, all kinds of stuff just jam packed in there. Uh, consider heading over there and checking it out. And if you do pick one up, like I said, it really helps, helps me, helps the channel. So before I let you go, I just wanna share a funny story now that we're talking about the matrix. Uh, it's a true story, my buddy, apply for a job at Blockbuster. That tells you how old I am, way back in the day. And uh, they were doing an interview with several people, I guess several candidates, and the manager asked a question. He says, what is the greatest trilogy of all times? And we thought, or I wasn't there, he thought this was obviously just kind of your opinion. And some people said like, back to the future, they gave different answers and the manager was dead serious. He looks at him, he goes, no, this is not up for debate it is hands down the matrix that's a fact i'm just thinking okay this guy's pretty intense with his movies so question for you guys drop a comment down there what is the best trilogy of all times in your opinion and then on top of that what's the best in the matrix series is it the original or do you have a different one that's your favorite last question red pill or blue pill guys all right all right, guys, thanks a lot. Appreciate you sticking around to the end. I hope you all have a great day. Until the next one, take care.